Hi my loves, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. My name is Jasmine and for today's video I have for you guys a quick 10 minute glam and I am going to be using all the products that I got in my boxy charm. So I hope you guys enjoy this quick 10 minute makeup look if you do don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe before you leave and if you guys are interested in seeing this makeup look then definitely keep on watching okay let's so let's get started with the dr brand no more baggage for the under eyes i wanted to try this out because i did say that i was going to try out the products that i got in my boxy charm in a tutorial for you guys so i'm going to apply this under the eyes because i do suffer from darkness and puffiness under the eyes i mean it's been with me for a very long time so i wanted to try this out and then i'm going to go in and fill in my eyebrows because i want this to sit i did prime my face i used the l'oreal glow primer and then i let that sit under my eyes while i fill in my eyebrows and another product that i got in the boxy charm was this brow cream so i got the brush on one side and then the cream on this side so let's go ahead and use this for the first first time i've never i've never heard of this brand but it looks i mean i've seen a few tutorials okay i don't know if i'm picking a product or what but let's go in and fill my eyebrows let's see how good this is so i only outlined them so i can know where i need to fill them in but that's about it. I haven't done much. I don't know if this brush is like picking up the product. I don't see it because the brush looks so flimsy. Okay, so let's move on to the eyes. I I don't even have foundation on. I never do my eyes before my foundation but i do want to do my eyes today first using the crown pro palette this is one of the palettes that did come in the boxy charm and i'm super excited to try it out give you guys my first impression let me know down below if you guys receive a boxy charm and what did you guys get because i know not everybody gets the same stuff so i'm gonna go in with this shade right here this light brown shade and i'm just gonna build this up in my crease um but yeah so i know not everyone gets the same stuff in their boxy charm so uh, let me know down below what you got i know some people got the uh, tart setting spray I would have been happy with just getting the Tarte setting spray instead of a palette because I got so many makeup palettes but it's alright I love to try new things so I definitely love this shade you guys can see how pigmented it is definitely love it and I'm just using a Vanity Planet blending brush I love this brush this is like my go to brush to blend in the um eyeshadows if you guys seen like all my makeup tutorials like this is the brush that i'm always using because i just love the way it blends in so yeah i'm just gonna blend this into the crease but i'm gonna go in next with the shade right here i'm gonna start building that up in the outer corner am i gonna use this brush or should i use another brush I am all over the place. <laughs> so I'm going to use a Morphe 433 brush. And I'm going to pick up this shade right here. This darker shade. And I'm going to start building this up right here. In the outer. Super pretty. Super pigmented. I love it. I definitely love it. I'm just blending it there and building it up in the outer and then just blending it upwards basically so i'm gonna go in to this shade right here and i'm just gonna apply it with my finger and see how it applies so i'm just gonna tap it 
see how it goes. pretty very very pretty I'm gonna grab a little bit of this shade right here I'm just gonna apply it right out here I don't know about these shimmer shades I feel like it's gonna come off really fast because it's not it's not it's sticking to my eyes but it's not sticking like all of it like completely see how it works mm. it's not my favorite <laughs> this is not like one of my top favorite palettes at all but let's move on and then we'll go back with the eyes in a little while let's go in with the makeup revolution foundation stick i got mine in the shade five five f10 <laughs> and it's like this this was a little bit not a little bit way too dark for my skin when i first first got it but now that i've been going to the pool a lot and i'm getting a tan you guys can see this is really really do it's really matching me now so i'm super excited but i do want to give you guys my first opinion and review about it because i don't think i did a video on it this foundation is good the only negative that i have to say about it that it's really really thick so you definitely want to be careful with how much you apply on your face um because it will look super cakey really fast if you put too much so you guys see i did one two one two and a swipe here that is all i'm gonna need because this foundation is thick so you definitely have to be careful with this because it will look super duper 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 cakey on you and you don't want to have a cakey face so you guys can see look at how nice and flawless it just blend into it blended in to the skin i just all over the place so i definitely recommend that you do take it easy with this foundation because this is not a foundation that you want to like cake up on your face like that so I did the mistake of doing that when I first 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 tried it out I put a lot of it thinking that oh it's it's all right like it's just it's just a stick foundation it's not gonna look super cakey you know honey this foundation made me look cakey as soon as I finished doing my makeup you could see it like it caked up right around my nose I was like oh no and then I stopped using it I was like no I can't use that I have to find a different way of using it because it was just way too much for me but then i figured out like the less product you use the better because it's just way too much too too much because it's just so thick so definitely recommend the foundation if you're interested it's really good i have a dry two combination skin and it just it looks beautiful on my skin Okay, love, so I already applied the concealer and setting powder. Um, I use the Makeup Revolution concealer and the Too Faced setting powder. So I'm going to move on back to the eyes. I'm going to use this shade right here and apply it under the eyes. And then I am going to go back in to the darker shade right here and just apply that under the eye. This white in thy inner corner and it's super pigmented which I love. So I definitely love that. And yeah, I am done with the eyes. So let's move on to mascara. We did get a mascara in the box. This is the Wonder Beauty Unlashed Volume and Curl Mascara. So I'm excited to try this out. So let's try it out. So I don't, I like the one. It's all right. I don't have the best lashes ever. So use the lashes. And then, yeah, this looks so nice. 
I don't know if you guys can see it, but that's not awful. It's okay. It's all right. You guys can see. It gave me a little bit of volume. You can see. I don't have no mascara. Mascara. That's all right. All right. This is this did not come in the box, but I am gonna bronze up the skin real quick. Okay. There goes my brush. So I'm gonna just bronze my skin. I'm gonna move on to a blush. I we did get a blush in the box, and it's this beautiful blush right here. Super pretty. So I'm gonna grab my brush. Let me grab my brush. I'm gonna use this brush right here. <gasps> Super pigmented. I would say, don't dip your brush so harsh like I just did because now I have all this I have all this blush I gotta blend it out got this highlighted highlighted I just got this highlighter and I wanted to try it out with you guys today this is from makeup revolution and this is the blush heart triple bait bait highlighter and goddess of love now I swatched this a blush I got it at TJ Maxx for $2.99 now you guys know my obsession with TJ Maxx. I absolutely love TJ Maxx and I can't even get it out. I absolutely love it. So I'm not returning this, so I'm just gonna rip it. Um, I swatched it. This is so beautiful. Now I would say the packaging kinda a little bit sucks. Cause look, it does pop out. Um, that's the only negative, but I definitely love the little heart. It's super, super cute. So this is the highlight right here. Super cute, simple. I'm excited to try it out. So I'm gonna go in with my Morphe 510. I'm just gonna grab some highlight and apply it to my face. Oh, it does have like a pinky iridescent to it. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I can see it in my mirror here. That has like an iridescent pink iridescent um, tint to it so I wouldn't say like use this on an everyday because I could see it like it's super pinky um, I wouldn't use this everyday like I would use it like if I'm going to a festival or something like that but on an everyday I will definitely not I will not use this okay love so i am back and this is the finish a completed look let me know down below what you guys think what do you think about the palette i'm kind of iffy i'm gonna keep on trying out the palette doing a different looks if you guys are interested in me creating another look with the palette let me know down below in the comment section and thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed it don't forget to give it a thumbs up and i will see you all in my next video bye loves